Good evening. They were nearly 24 hours away from walking off the job, but a strike at Ontario jails has been averted. The union representing provincial corrections officers say a deal was reached with the province very early this morning. CTV's Austin Delaney is at the Toronto East Detention Center in Scarborough with the details. Austin. Andrea, a lot of people on either side of this didn't think this deal was going to happen. It did. It happened at 4.20 this morning. The government gave the union what it wanted. Ontario jail guards are now an essential service. As of late yesterday, TVs were being trucked into jails to keep inmates happy in case of a strike by guards. To avoid the kinds of riots that broke out in 2002, the last time Ontario guards went on strike. But with a new contract signed early this morning, the province's 6,000 jail guards will now focus on bringing their wages more in line to what police and firefighters make. A first-class constable at $95,000 compared to $70,000 for a corrections officer. The work is really, really dangerous, and it's dangerous on an everyday occurrence, right? Police officers face the same kind of danger. A firefighter faces that danger going into a burning building, but our, our staff face it every day. The union gave up the right to strike in favour of binding arbitration on wages. The government's rolling the dice, we're rolling the dice a bit. But what Obsu calls a crisis in corrections is far from over. With the understaffing, the overcrowding, it makes it tough for everybody. Too many inmates, too few guards after a three-year hiring freeze that the union says left the system down by 800 guards, forcing inmates to bunk sometimes three or in some cases four to a cell built for two people. They lifted the hiring freeze. We got that in this round of bargaining. That's important for you. And that means now they're going to start training up uh, candidates to become correctional officers. They're going to do it in different parts of the province. But for 25 new probation officers, no firm hiring numbers. The government issued this statement saying, we will continue to work with our correction staff as we move forward with our mandate to transform the correctional system to develop effective and lasting improvements to enhance rehabilitation and reintegration supports as we work to break the cycle of reoffending and improve the safety and security of correctional staff, inmates and the public. Now, the union says this is a real step in the right direction in correcting this so-called crisis in our jails, but notes it won't happen overnight. We didn't get here overnight. We're live from the jail. I'm Austin Delaney.